Hello and welcome. In today's video I will be showing you how I create two easel cards using some of these dies and these circle dies from Nelly's Multiframe. I will also be using some of these stems from these stem sets. But before I get started creating my cards I want to thank all of you for watching and liking my videos and for subscribing to my channel. By the time I am working on this voiceover I have already 97 subscribers and by the time this video will be released I think I will hit the 100 subscriber mark and I can't tell you how happy that makes me. So I thank you very much to each single one of you. Each view will keep me going and I hope there will be many more videos to come. So let's get started to create our first card. I am starting by cutting out my card base and I am using the largest die from this die set and I am positioning it at the edge so that it won't cut the outer line you can see here. After I have cut out my card base I am scoring and folding the front part in two halves. From a colored paper I have cut out my card panel and I have already cut out a circle using the second largest die from the Nellis Multiframe. Now I am finding the right position for the card base to cut out the same circle. And the circle will only be cut out from the upper part of the card. And that's what my card base looks like now. Next I am cutting out this beautiful doily die and the two largest and the second smallest die from this die set. To clean up my dies and my cutouts I am using an ordinary toothbrush and as you can see there is no need for any fancy tool, this toothbrush is working just fine. To get the doily cutout out of the die I am using a pin. Next I am adhering the doily using a little tiny amount of wet glue to my card panel. To add a little more interest to my doily I am adding a doily frame cut out on top of my doily. To make the back side of my card base look beautiful as well. I am cutting out a frame using the largest and the third largest die from the circle set and then I am adhering the frame to the back side. For my sentiment I have chosen happy birthday stamp from this stamp set and I am stamping it in Momento grape jelly twice and then I am going over it with some VersaFine ink to heat emboss it with some clear heat embossing powder. I like to use clear embossing powder so I don't have to buy many different colors of embossing powder since the color I have stamped beneath the embossing powder shows through. The baby powder you saw me using before is for antistatic and again no fancy tool is needed. After heat setting my sentiment, my sentiment can be placed on top of my card in the center of the doily. Using some Momento grape jelly I have stamped this border stamp and heat embossed it with some clear embossing powder. And then I am adhering this piece on top of the other piece. For some kind of stopper I have cut out the shape of my card from a white index card and I have cut it in two halves and now I am cutting it down to three centimeters. With some wet glue I am adhering the stopper to the inside of my card. Also using wet glue I am adhering the panel to the lower half of the card front. For the final touch I will cut out some leaves and since I don't have a fitting cardstock I will adhere some of this colored paper to an index card and then I cut out 
three of these leaf dye. With some wet glue I am adding the leaves to my card, two on the panel and one to the lower part of the card. And finish is my first card. And now you can see why I have cut out the circle behind the doily. You can see through the doily and this brings the doily really up and you can see how beautiful the doily is. To be able to add a personal note I have cut out the shape of my card from a piece of paper and I have cut it in half and now I am adhering it temporarily using some weak double-sided tape. And in case the card will be placed somewhere for decoration, the note can easily be removed. And this is my first card. In the next card I will take it even further and bring up the doily even more. For my next card I have cut out a card base from some white cardstock and I have already cut out the circle on the top of the card. I will use a pattern paper from this paper collection which I bought from a local store and I have adhered it to my card base directly on the whole front. On the back side I have added a circle frame and in this card I am using only the doily as a panel. Then I have embellished my doily with some green leaves. For the center of my doily I have stamped this stamp in Momento grape jelly and I have embossed it with some clear embossing powder as well as these two little flowers on the stop of my card. The sentiment is from this stamp set and for the leaf I have used this die. And this is my second card for today. I hope you had fun and enjoyed today's video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you like, please leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to check out on my other videos. And here are some close-up pictures of the two cards. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I see you soon. Have a nice day. Bye.